stay mm -hmm. thanks to food that's delicious but also supports local farmers. And it's not just restaurants that are doing it. You can go farm to table at home. Brandon Fay, the managing director of Tra Oh my gosh, I always miss this up. Traveria. Delarte. You say it a lot better than I do. Really? Okay. I've been practicing and it hasn't been happening. So anyway, I got it. Welcome. Great to Welcome see everybody. Back, I should say. Thank you. Good you, morning. This is what I love about all of this is it's so colorful, mm -hmm. but so nutritious too. I saw your pictures yeah. this week from the farmer's market. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Everything pretty much here was in the ground yesterday. Now it's wow. going to be in a pot today and then in your belly. Okay. Really cool. We're making a one pot farmer's market pasta. And I'm using a vegan and gluten-free spaghetti noodle, mm -hmm. so it's trying to stay really ultra healthy. Mm -hmm. I think in the beginning of summer, everybody's like, oh, let's work on that beach body. Yeah. To me, yeah, I, I skipped that part, summer right? Summer's tough, though. <laughs> summer's tough to eat healthy. But it's the end of summer, and you don't want to let it go, so right. you're still sticking healthy. And then later on, we're going to cook off some huge, colossal size Madagascar These are ridiculous. Palms, right? I know. Let's get started. Okay, so what's right? in this? So this is what we're doing. So it's all about the heirloom tomatoes. Right now, it's peak of the summertime. Okay. So peak of the summer, peak of all this beautiful produce, all this product, right? You've got heirloom tomatoes, which means your base. You want the juices of the tomatoes to be the stock of this pasta, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to use a little bit of white wine, a little bit of olive oil, but then we've got dragon tongue snap peas, right? Wait, is that what that's this? Yes, these right here, right I've here. never seen this. And you know what's great about these? Huh. You can actually... Take a bite. You can eat one of these raw or cooked. Mmm. Is it everything else? Interesting. Thing? Isn't it really good? Mm-hmm. Very good. It has fresh. a nice sweet, not mm -hmm. really bitter. Okay. A lot of this stuff on the ground yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we just start throwing it in. These are mustard greens. Okay. Okay? This is like opening up a can of Dijon mustard. Okay? <laughs> do you like a little heat? Try mm -hmm. some of that right there. Oh my gosh. That's absolutely delicious. No, you try the heat. <laughs> I mean, basically one stock pasta. What we're doing is we're putting this all in the pasta, mm. all in the bowl. Now what is the what is the base wow. that you already have in there? You have the spaghetti I and then you have corn. A little bit of you know what a lot of this stuff I already started cooking it. Okay. Right? But this is what, it down. Gotcha. And it's exactly the same thing. Okay. So we've got sweet summer corn, right? Don't mind my hands. Sweet summer school. We're all family here, right? <laughs> a little bit of red onion. We've got some beautiful broccoli. Now, these are really delicious. These are really cool. These are creamy and delicious fairy tale eggplant. Aww, fairy tale eggplant. Egg. Right? So, we're going to cook those down. We're going to throw those mm -hmm. in. And the idea of a one pot pasta is that you don't really have to use anything else, just your pot. Mm -hmm. You put it all in here, and then you're going to cook it down. So, while we got that working, I'm going to add a little bit of white wine. I tend to use a dry white wine. Mm -hmm. Put that in like that. And people really look, they go, Really? Is that all you have to do? You really just put the white wine in, put a little bit of water, and start adding your ingredients. And you know what? This cooked down for about 20 minutes. Uh -huh. um, now, is this on low? or? This is on medium? low. Okay. So, I like to say, Slow and low. Okay. Slow right? and low. And it all depends how you want the dish because if you want it al dente, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. But uh -huh. if you like it not so al dente and you want the pasta to be a little bit soft and the vegetables to be soft, mm -hmm. 20, 25, 30 minutes. Let me ask you though, because when you, when you do go to a farmer's market, yep. specifically this time of year, yep. what should you be looking for? I'm looking for, well, first is if I'm looking at corn, mm -hmm. which is really great, I'm looking for stuff that was just pulled out of the ground. You're uh, looking for the, the, the head the on the bottom, right? Right, right. You want right. it to be soiled mm -hmm. a little bit, mm -hmm. right? You want to have a little bit of dirt on the bottom. And you want to talk to your farmer's market, um, the guy that's there, you want to talk to him about how was your crop this year? Because mm -hmm. they'll be honest with you. They want you to support them, and they mm -hmm. want you to come back. So they're going to tell you what's good. They're going to tell you what they got. And, you know, by the way, a lot of people are afraid to go up there and try things. Ah. I go in there and I start eating. Really? Do you ask them or do you just do it? Um, I just start doing it and then I hope they're nice. These are Jim Nardello peppers. Okay. So the story is Jim Nardello came to America from many, many years ago from uh, Italy and he planted these seeds and these are really nice and sweet. So you throw those all and you start cooking and why don't we jump on the prawns? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. So, this is crazy. Do you want me to play with these ones? Oh my these God. Ones? We're gonna, well, this is raw. So here, let me give okay. you, you want to grab one of these? Sure. And just grab one of those and now, you want to make sure your pot is nice and hot. Throw okay. that right in. Okay. And there's oil on there already. And there's oil on there, a little bit, a little vegetable, right? You're going you're gonna to grease the pan because you don't want to stick. Mm -hmm. Why don't we throw one more in there? Okay. And what we're doing is... And we, right. were, we were asking you, Brandon, I mean, this, yep. this doesn't even look real. Yeah, so where do you get these so. mega prawns? <laughs> <laughs> If you find a fish monger that has these giant prawns, jump on them and treat yourself. Because okay. these are these are a delicacy and they're sometimes hard to find. However, you can go with any big shrimp. Okay. And all I'm doing is I'm simply grilling them. So a little bit of vegetable oil. I did a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I love these things. Love all my cool gadgets, right? Oh, yeah. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and then you're gonna flip these, you're gonna let you're gonna get a nice sear. What mm -hmm. you're looking for is you wanna wait until they're no more trans like until they're no more uh, translucent. You mm -hmm. wanna get that white, pristine color. So that takes about how long on each side? About five minutes on each side, right? You gotta watch them, right? You gotta watch them. Can I get those prawns back? Sure, right? there you go. Then after about five minutes, you know, flip them over after getting nice sear. So while we're cooking these, you notice we got this all going, mm -hmm. right? And we've got maybe a little bit more white wine. Can I ask you how much liquid do you put in? I mean, how can you tell? Oh, that's. I did about a cup to a cup and a half. Okay. 
Because this is not. the finished product, right? This is the finished product. Ooh. This is really only about 20 minutes. You got some right here if you want to taste some, right? There you go. Now, what else we got? We got some rainbow colored carrots. Ah, uh, yes, these. Right, those are delicious. We uh -huh. got some rainbow Swiss chard. Wow. Then we've got some the gymnodillo peppers. We've got mm -hmm. the uh, dragon tongues. We've got the broccoli. I mean, everything. Just take advantage of whatever's at the market. Mm -hmm. and have a good conversation with them. Have fun. Stay there for a while and enjoy yourself. It's really a great way to spend the day mm -hmm. and get to know what's going on and support your local uh, f farmers and support your community. That's this terrific. is really delicious and it tastes so fresh. Which is the whole point of the whole farm Pretty to much. market thing is that yeah. it's fresh and you know there's there's nothing really added to it. Really delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so great. You know what's so funny when Brand. Brandon came. It was like he's like family. Because, you know, you, you come back and you show us all these wonderful things. I have to tell you, I'm not one of those healthy, healthy eaters. Yeah. So if someone like me who needs to start slowly with this farm to table thing, what would be a? Well, a good first thing? I would say, if you're in New York City, go down to Union Square Market. Okay. It is. I actually go to the Upper East Side. There's, there's mm -hmm. only small little ones. Union Square is probably the most popular. Upper East Side has one on First Avenue. There's one downtown. There's, and then you start to know the farms. I can name them all. You've got Eckerton Farms in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You've got in Roscoe some great farms. Um, and what's also really great is, uh, I'm going to tell you a couple of cool, fun mm -hmm. tips. A lot of stuff, you don't even have to cook it. You get the corn wow. right, off, right off the ground. I eat it without even cooking it. But with the pasta, I love that. I have prawns on the uh, <laughs> Feel free to give me something I can flip them over with. Oh my God! Right here. Oh so, no, I want to do it. Go right ahead. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you one one cool, really fun trick with the pasta. Okay. I cooked it the day before. I really. Oh really? It. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I just simply blanch it, then cool it down in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. and then you bring it and out then, and, and then you just it mix in. it. What it does is it reduces the cooking time because when you get fresh pasta and you cook it, it takes a while. Right. That way it's a little bit easier, a little mm, simple. All right.